closing hours specifically you will see that the state government okay we have understood in the last lecture that shops and establishments act is going to be different for every state right here opening and closing hours of establishment is given standing anything contained in this act notwithstanding whatever is contained under this act ye act jo bhi bolta hai usko aap side mein rakho agar state government may fix so it may or may not okay by notification in official gazette the public interest such hours for opening and closing of different classes of establishments okay so depending on whether you are a retail shop whether you are in a mall for different classes of establishment state government will issue a notification if you see for malls it is usually i think uh, 11 am here at least 11 am to 10 pm but if it's a cinema hall they will extend it up to 1 am correct so different class ke liye different hours if it's a retail shop inside a mall they will say that 10 pm you have to close down but if it's the cinema theater they will say okay you can go on to maximum 1 am so your last show can be let's say 11 right so different classes ke liye state government will notify okay why is this important subject to further provisions of this act no adult worker shall be required or allowed to work in any establishment for more than 9 hours in any day okay so guys what is the daily limit to work as per maharashtra shops and establishments act given under section 12 what is it not more than 9 hours in any day why do they state 9 hours because they think that you will work from monday to friday if you are working from monday to saturday and taking sunday off it is 48 hours which amounts to 8 hours in a day correct so maximum if you are working you can work 9 hours in one day or you can divide your week in 48 hours provided you have a 5 day work week or a 6 day work week you can change that but ek din mein 9 ghante se zyada nahi aur ek hafte mein 48 hours to zyada nahi okay from that what does it further say no adult worker shall be asked to work continuously for more than 5 hours unless he has been given a break of not less than half an hour okay so if i am reporting to work at let's say 9 am 10 11 12 1 2 2 o'clock has to be my break time for at least half an hour does this mean can i uh, that i can't have a break of 1 hours or 2 hours or 45 minutes for that matter i can इसका क्या मतलब है अनलेस ही हैज बीन गिवन अ ब्रेक ऑफ नॉट लेस देन मिनिमम ब्रेक दैट यू हैव टू गिव इज फॉर हाफ एन आवर यू कैन गिव मोर ब्रेक्स आल्सो दैट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम व्हेनेवर यू आर गिविंग मोर बेनिफिट्स टू वर्कर्स गोइंग अहेड एंड डूइंग समथिंग फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द पीपल द गवर्नमेंट विल ऑलवेज अप्रिशिएट इट दे विल नॉट गो अगेंस्ट बट इफ यू ओनली गिव अ ब्रेक ऑफ ब्रेक ऑफ 15 मिनट्स यू आर बेसिकली नॉट कंप्लाइंग विद सेक्शन 12 एंड वायलेटिंग इट ठीक है, so your daily hours is nine hours, your spread over of the week is forty eight hours, and minimum half an hour break का uh, threshold is five hours, okay? so if you work for five hours, minimum break has to be there for half an hour, okay? provided that working hours or weekly holiday may be relaxed in case of urgent nature and previous permission of the facilitator, ठीक है? further no women shall be discriminated in the matter of recruitment training transfers and promotion of wages so the act is basically you know telling that prohibition of discrimination women should not be discriminated during promotion during payment of wages so if you hire people two people together one is a man one is a woman one person you offer 45000 one person who is a woman you just order uh, you know offer 30000 this is violation of section 13 and also equal remuneration act something which we will study later basically you can't have discrimination while you're doing promotion wages transfers training and recruitment all of this this is something i think you all are already aware of okay there is an exception here that no woman shall be required or allowed to work in any establishment except between the hours of 7 am to 9:30 pm okay so you cannot basically work beyond 9:30 pm also but the supreme court has recently had a view for relaxation of this okay they have said that if there is adequate security and you are maintaining pick up and drop and the woman is safe at workplace you can extend this also okay act is saying ki 7 subah 7 baje se raat ke 9:30 maximum 
ठीक है बट सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज सेड दैट इफ दिस गोज बियॉन्ड इट्स ओके प्रोवाइडेड यू हैव ऑल नेसेसरी सिक्योरिटी व्हिच इज अवेलेबल इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके व्हेन यू आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्प्रेड ओवर व्हाट दिस 9 आवर्स वाज ओके डेली जो 9 आवर्स है दीज आर 9 प्रोडक्टिव आवर्स कीप इन माइंड दैट दीज आर नॉट टोटल आवर्स ओके how do you understand total hours that you will understand by reading spread over okay so section 14 of the act is telling us spread over okay yeah so the spread over of a worker in an establishment shall not exceed 10 and a half hours in a day i can work for 9 hours usme se but naturally i will have some breaks correct so my total spread over as per maharashtra shops and establishments act is not more than 10 and a half hours if i come in at work at 12 pm i have to go back at 10:30 pm provided i get a break at 5 pm correct because your section uh where will go yeah 12 is uh, saying that clearly you have to get a break after 5 hours ठीक है, so when you're hiring people, what do you have to consider that your total timing of work is not more than nine hours, okay? Your total spread over is not more than ten and a half hours, and you are necessarily getting breaks in between also, okay? So you have to read all of this together rather than reading these things separately, okay? When we read section twelve, guys, and it said subject to other provisions of this act. this is what it meant section 15 okay as per section 12 what is the threshold 9 hours correct